Hello everyone, my name is Aditya Shivaswa and in this video we are going to talk about VLANs. So what is a VLAN? VLAN is a virtual LAN, a virtual local area network. So we know about uh, local area network, let's talk about what is a VLAN actually. A VLAN is a group of devices on one or more LANs. So it means it can be a group of one or, one or more LANs that are configured to communicate as if they were attached to the same wire where in fact they are located on a number of different LAN segments. It will see, we have this router and we have a switch. So a router, what does a router do? A router does to, uh, the, the basic function of router is to advertise, right? Is to advertise. This is the basic function of router. It's to connect the networks. What is the basic function of switch? To create the networks, right? Switch creates network, router connects network. So, let's say, I'm having a switch and I divided, I virtually divided the switch into two parts. So now I can assign the same IP on a switch on two other, uh, on two different ports. So we have two types of ports in, in VLANs. We have a trunk port and we have access port. A trunk port links are required to pass VLAN information between switches. So let's say we are having like say two switches. Okay. And, uh, and uh, let's say I'm having one switch and two of its ports are on VLAN 2 and rest two of, uh, and rest of the other of ports are, in, are on VLAN 3 the, there has to be one port the trunk port which allows the switch to pass the information through another switch or through another router rest all the other ports will be an access port but this port which allows the, the switch which allows the particular switch to, trans, to transfer the information is a trunk port and there has to be a one trunk switch or one to a one trunk port in this in a switch so this is how a vlan looks like vlan provides segmentation based on broadcast domain so i hope you guys know about the collision domains and the broadcast domains so, okay so vlans logically segment switch switch networks based on the functions, project teams, applications of the organization regardless of physical location or connection to, or to the network. Let's say, let's say I'm sitting in a, uh, let's say I'm sitting in a SBI card's office on 12th floor where it's all the, uh, the IT department sits. But now, a, a marketing guy just came into the flow and he was like, okay, I want to sit here, but I want the IP address, I want, the, I want my network information which was uh, which I was using on 11th floor to be same the exact same here. So what a network administrator do is network admi administrator just put his particular port number into the VLAN which he is using on which he was using on 11th floor. So let's say that my 12th floor is on VLAN 2, my 11th floor is on VLAN 3, and my 10th floor is on v is on VLAN 1. So now that marketing guy came from VLAN 3 VLAN 2 and wants to sit on VLAN 3 but he wants the same IP address so what does the network to do? he just switch his port from VLAN 2 to VLAN 3 so that he can get the exact same address which he wants how you can create, create a VLAN? we can create VLAN on switches some very simple commands like to just, just to create a VLAN you need to enter command VLAN space a number or VLAN number one has to, one is the default number for VPN so you cannot use one you can say two three four five like this any number let us see how we can create v VLANs because see these are just the commands in front of your system right these are just the commands in front of your system and, and you'll be like watching this video and you'll be like okay I, uh, okay I know the commands now but how actually do I can configure the VPN? How actually? So this is how. Let's do it. Let me open my packet tracer. So this is a packet tracer. This is actually a network simulator software by Cisco. Okay, so let me take a switch here. A router first. I'm gonna take a router. Now I'm gonna take a switch. And now I'm gonna take two systems which will be on different VLANs. Okay. Just delete it. Let's connect all these.
so now router is connected so as you can see the router is connected to fast ethernet 0 by 1 port laptop 0 is connected to fast ethernet 0 by 2 port and laptop 1 is connected to fast ethernet 0 by 14 port so let us create vlans now let me just make the fonts a bit larger I hope you guys can see clearly now yeah let us create VLANs now EN command to enter in enable mode see this domain lookup is such a hectic thing right so EN command to enter in enable mode then we have this command which is configuration terminal to enter in global configuration mode of router or a switch now vlan2 to create vlan2 vlan3 to create vlan3 now just let me enter into the range of ports so um, we are having here from port number fast ethernet 0 by 1 to fast ethernet 0 by 24 let me enter fast ethernet 0 by 2 to 0 by 13 okay now i'm gonna make this port an access port these all ports from 2 to 4, 4 from fast ethernet 0 by 2 to fast ethernet 0 by 13 all these ports will be access ports now how command will be switch port mode access enter next command will be switch port access now I'm gonna assign VLAN to these ports VLAN 2 done now interface range fast ethernet 0 by 14 to 24 okay same command applies here switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 3 done so how you can verify how you can verify this let me, let me just put the fast ethernet 0 by 1 port which is basically connected towards the switch into a trunk port fast ethernet interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 switch port mode trunk now it's a trunk port it's as simple as that okay exit let's check the vlans do show vlan so my fast ethernet 0 by 1 port is active and it is a default port on my vlan 2 i'm having from fast ethernet 0 by 2 to fast ethernet 0 by 13 on my vlan 3 i'm having fast ethernet 0 by 14 to 0 by 24 this is my vlan status so let's move towards this router and let's see how we can assign two different IPs on these two different the different VLANs just via one router. How? So same EN and then conf T. Now let me just switch up this port, which is fast ethernet 0 by 0 by a command no shut. The port is up now. So now we have to create sub interfaces on this port. How? To create some interface I'm gonna type the command interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 dot 2 because it will get access for VLAN 2 okay now encapsulation dot 1q this command encapsulation dot 1q and now the VLAN number the VLAN number will be 2 now I'm gonna assign an IP address to, to this sub port, to this sub interface. The IP address, let's say I'm gonna assign is 11.0.0.1 and this subnet mask. Yep, done. I'm, now I'm gonna create another sub interface 0 by 0 0.3. Same command applies here. Encapsulation dot one q space three. Three is the VLAN number for VLAN three. Now the IP address, IP address will be this so basically our configuration of vlan is done so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna create a dcp server so that 
Uh, so I'm gonna create a DCP server here so that the VLANs will automatically get the IP address as soon as the system gets connected to them. So let me first exclude some IPs. IP DHCP excluded address which is this will be the default router and this will be for default router of another network. Now I'm gonna create a pool IP DHCP pool 2 let's just name it 2 for VLAN 2 okay network I'm gonna sign a network here okay subnet and a default router that's it done now IP DHCP pool 3 for VLAN 3 network command Okay, and default router. We are done here. Seriously, we are done here. So let's just check whether our configuration is successful or not. Whether this laptop is getting IP of which network? Let's see. Okay, it's getting IP from 12 network because it's on VLAN 3 and it's on VLAN 2, so it must be have this must be must be getting the IP of 11 series let's see put it on DSCP yeah it's done it's successful so this laptop is on VLAN 3 is getting IP of 12 this laptop is on VLAN 2 getting IP of 11 let me just add another laptop here and connect it to this switch now let's see whether it's getting the IP of 11 or not desktop DSCP yes it's getting the IP so our DSCP server is a DSCP is uh, successfully configured a VLAN is successfully configured now internally VLAN routing is successfully configured because we have a trunk coach here let us see whether these two different networks or these two different PCs will be able to connect to each other or not in progress failed okay let's see it again successful because the first packet for ARP which is address resolution protocol and then the ICMP packet internet control messaging protocol packet basically the ping packet now so they are able to connect with each other they are able to share their information and their resources with each other so this is how VLAN works this is how you can configure VLAN if you want more information on VLAN you can subscribe to my channel you can get in touch with me via message or via Facebook via LinkedIn and if you want any other modifications in this video, if you want more videos of, on networking, if you want more videos or videos on networking, on VLANs, do just let me know. I'll create the video and I'll upload the video just for you guys. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.